Welcome back to Full Food Guys, the show for 20-somethings who don't know how to cook but want to learn to cook good. I'm Andrew. I'm Dave. And Andre's out of the kitchen today being a good Full Food Guy and visiting his grandparents. Full Food Guys! Did you wake up next to someone? Do you like them? Well then you're going to want to cook them this omelet. It's sort of a play on a Denver omelet. Not exactly right, so we'll call it a Daver omelet. Peppers, onions, ham, cheese, can't really go wrong. Gonna be delicious. Bacon in there too. Ah, I forgot about the bacon. First of all, you're gonna wanna cut up your peppers and onions. Um, you can use any color pepper you like. I like to do red and yellow, they're my favorite. Um, what you're gonna do is chop them up into small pieces so they're the same size and we're gonna fry them up. Um, for this Daver omelet, you're gonna need at least two to four eggs. Um, you can add a couple more if you want to make a bigger omelet, but uh, since it's just the two of us, we're just going to use four eggs. Next up, you're going to whisk your eggs. Uh, pretty easy to do. You can actually use a whisk or a fork. Next up, you're going to want to chop up your ham. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to take a couple slices of ham. I got a nice Westphalian ham. It's a bit smokier. Um, take about three pieces and just chop it up roughly. You can really use whatever cheese you want. I uh, grabbed an old smoky cheddar. It's going to be tasty. All right, now I know there's gonna be a lot of debate about this, but we find that the best way to cook bacon is in the microwave. Cook it for about three minutes, open it up and have a look. If it needs a little more time, add another minute until you think you're pretty good. We're gonna take it out of the microwave. It's gonna be super hot, so make sure you got an oven mitt or uh, a tea towel. Before you start, Preheat your oven to 325. You're going to want to turn the stove on to about medium high for when you're cooking your peppers and onions. You're going to want to add about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of butter just to make sure the eggs don't get stuck to the pan. Now that our butter is sizzling nicely, you're going to want to add about a handful of peppers and onions just to make sure it's covering the bottom of the pan. And you're just going to want to let them fry for about three to six minutes uh, depending on the size of your pan. Give them a good stir every now and then, just to make sure they're cooking evenly. All right, now that we've got a little bit of browning on the peppers and onions, um, it's time to add the rest of our ingredients. All right, so we're gonna add in our ham. Again, use uh, you know your best judgment about how much you're putting in. Um, just enough to cover the top there. And so we got our ham. We're also gonna add just about the same amount of bacon. Make sure we've just got a good layer. Next up comes the egg. All right, we're gonna turn down the heat a little bit on there, and we're just gonna let it cook until you can see the edges starting to harden. Now it's been cooking for about a minute, a minute and a half. The edges are starting to harden. We're just gonna pop it in the oven for a few minutes. All right, now that it's been in the oven for about two minutes, uh, it's time to take it out, add our cheese, give it a flip, and put it back in to finish. Okay, so you're gonna wanna add cheese onto one half of the omelet, because that's how you're gonna flip it. All right, we got our flip. We're going back into the oven just for about a minute. Yes! So we're gonna pop it up. Oh yeah, look at that. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Next time you bring that special someone home, you don't need to go down to the Sophie's guy and get meatballs and macaroni and cheese, Charlie. Full food guys, full food guys. All right, we're done.